Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Last time we made it to Heart Home, got an egg which would never bloody hatch, so I just decided to put it in the PC. Talk to this guy and he'll give you a good rod. Talk to this goon and he'll give you a good rod. Trust me. Tr 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 trust me, it's uh... It's actually very helpful. Alright. Right, so I'll show you how the fishing mechanic works. As soon as something pops up... Nope. Not even a nibble. As soon as, um, you get an ex- Oh! Really now? <laughs> Look at that guy! Did you see that trainer that was running? <laughs> it looked like he was jogging in place. That actually looked really funny. It's like he was jogging in place. It's like he was having a hard time moving. Destroy, destroy, destroy! Time to destroy! Time to destroy! 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 Must destroy! Must destroy! Gotta destroy! Gotta destroy! That's what you that's what you that's what you kids get for interrupting me. That's what you kids that's what you kids get for interrupting my tutorial. Alright. Let's try again. Man it really did rain. Really, nothing wants to pop out, I see. Nothing? Why is nothing coming out? Damn, there's really no water Pokemon. That sucks. There's really no water Pokemon. Jeez. God, I can't even do can't even show you guys how to bloody fish. There we go. As soon as as soon as soon as the explanation mark comes up, you press A and you land a fish. I bet I got a magic card. Oh no, I got a goldeen! I got a goldeen! Thank God, after, thank goodness that all, all that didn't just lead to me getting a friggin' magic arm. And I'll just catch this. There we go. Goldeen was caught. Yay! Got a Goldeen. Useless Pokemon. Old Ian was added to your party. Well, yeah, because I got that. Well, yeah, because I got space, you dumbass. Ah. Oh. <laughs> B 
Empty barrel. Floyd. Or these trainers. And it will go into that little ghost house. We're gonna go to that ghost house next. That ghost house you guys just saw. We're gonna go there next. Because I think there's a dust stone in there. I think. I think there is. I could be completely be thinking wrong here. If, I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I, I'm pretty much saying probably wrong. Oh yeah, by the way, come here. Come to this Pokemon. Come to this Pokemon. Talk to this girl and she'll give you dust balls. Buy about 15 of them. Now, why catch... Now, why dust balls? Well, they're actually very helpful. They help you catch Pokemon that are basically in caves and at night time. So right now it's currently night time in the game. My god, I almost got caught by those two trainers. Man, I really hope it's in here. Oh! The Goldeen was holding an item. Alright, well... Well, there is a reason why... Well, well, else, well, there is a... Well, we should become here anyway, regardless if the item is here or not. Because, uh, we need to, There's something else we need to get. So I'm gonna check real quick if there is a dust stone in here, and I will see you guys in just a bit. Okay, guys, I was completely wrong. But I had an idea on where it was. Uh, the one that I can get is the one in the warehouse after we open the storage key in the uh, galactic galactic area. So yeah, we're gonna be having a Mopro for quite a while. So, but but yes, we still have to be here anyway because we need to get strength. Now yes, I know there's no HMs in this game, but we still need it. But we still need it. Um, we still need to get it anyway. Um, where are the repels? There should be nothing over 20 in here. I'm prob we're probably going to encounter at least a few... Wow. I was about to say, we're probably going to run into at least a few trainers. I was able to avoid them. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Ah! Damn it! I, and she was avoidable, too. She was avoidable. She was avoidable, too. That's my fault. She was avoidable. She was easily avoidable. That's a good move. Oh, that's a really good move. Ah, oh, my, my repel went off. Oh, we made it to the top. And this gives us the TM for strength. But now it gets, but then strength gets added to. See, that's why we had to come here, guys. Yeah, 
low sweep. Oh, no one can land it. Well, that's annoying. Because that, because we'll get the TM for the move, but oh great! Hello, Ghastly. Do, do, do. This is where you normally find them, and I think this is the only location. Like. Outside of the underground, I think this is uh, the only place you'll find them. There we go. Caught, caught the ghastly. Ah, oh, this is gonna get so annoying. This is why you need repels, guys, because things, because this is gonna get very annoying very quickly. I'll be sure to stock up on them. I'll be sure to stock up on them next time outside of the one that I have. I want to get that item. Oh, that's a revive. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, that'll come in handy. Turn. Come on, buddy. There we go. Just had to be patient. And now we are not out of here just yet. Let's go around this kid, and we're free. Yay! That wasn't too bad. But yes, that's the main reason why we needed to go there, to get the strength, to get strength. And now we'll go in here and get more repels. Just want five for now, Not, don't want to spend too much money. want to save up my money, don't want to spend too much of it. Alright, now let's box the Goldeen and... Let's box the Goldeen and the Ghastly. Oh yeah, let's throw the Manaphy in the daycare. Since we've got... Since, since we're technically here at the daycare centre... Since, since we're here at the daycare centre, I'll just put Manaphy in there. Not really gonna come back for it, so. Oh. Okay, well that's just well that kind of sounds rude for me to say. Well, yeah, of course I'm gonna come back for it. But I'm just gonna leave it in there. I'm just gonna be leaving it in there. I'm just gonna be leaving it in there. And I'll come back for it. I'll come back for it once my um, journey's over. Once I'm done with the main playthrough. So it'll probably be incredibly strong the, the next time I see it. There's another story I want to share real quick. It was about the time when my when my, my brother played um, Pokemon Silver. He put a Pidgey in the daycare, since we're talking about daycares. He put the Pidgey in his daycare and he completely forgot all about it. Oh man, this is long ass grass. He forgot all about his Pidgey. And then after he came back for it, when he remembered it was still a thing, he came back for it, and the Pidgey was like, and the Pidgey was like level 80, was like about level 83 or something. It was, it was insane. It was absolutely crazy. It was crazy, but also very hilarious.
I remember this guy. Oh, I remember this guy. This guy has the shield on, doesn't he? This guy has a shield on a bronze bronzor, bronzor, yeah. destroy it. Glad that, I'm so glad Cross Chop is so reliable now, because my god, it, it, it was such a powerful move. For a powerful move like for like Cross Chop to be this reliable is kind of broken. It's kind of broken, but I'm also at the same time kind of glad it is. What, what did I just get? but held by a Pokemon, it helps more Pokemon keep... No. Okay. What did I... What did I get? Oh, I got Payback. Oh, Payback. Okay. The user stores power, then attacks. If the user moves after the Pokemon's target, this... Uh, okay. I don't get... I think that was worded incorrectly. Now, TM Shockwave is here, behind this tree. Now, obviously, I don't need it because I've already got it, but... Now, obviously, I don't need it because my Alakid already has it, but it's still... But it's 
still useful to have just in case if I want to give it to anything else. Oh, these two trainers. Oh my god, these two. These two are infamous. H trainer Dennis and um H trainer Dennis and that other guy. They, they, these two are well known to be difficult. But I'm gonna battle them one at a time. Destroyed. Kadabla. Oh, so this isn't Ace Trainer Denison. This is the girl. Oh, Ace Trainer Dennis is the is the guy down below. Oh, well, this chick's not so bad. It's more Ace Trainer Dennis that's pretty tough. And then when we get to Valstone City, that will be the end of the video. And I'll also take a bit of a break, because... I mean, I'll still play the game, but I'll just be doing off-screen stuff, off-screen grinding, and probably all that other stuff off-screen, so you guys don't have to see me do it. Alright, come on. We're almost there, Alakid. We're almost... We're almost... Oh my god! Jeez, that did a lot of damage. Oh, man. Oh, thank goodness. Good job, Alakid. Good job. My boy coming, 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 coming through with the clutch. Look at him. Oh, I'm so sorry, darling. I'm so, I'm so sorry, darling. Did I accidentally, did I upset you? Now this guy should be Ace Trainer Dennis. Yep, here he is, Ace Trainer Dennis. This guy is tough. This guy is usually pretty tough. I really hope they didn't make him easier in this game. He's normally pretty tough. No, man! Well, it may be 80% accurate, but man, that's pretty unlucky. If it's not 100% accurate, it's 50% accurate. Oh. Man, do I even need Thunder Wave? My god, Static's just gonna friggin' come the clutch. Don't burn me, thank you. Goodbye. Now, I believe he now has a... Driftblum? I believe Driftblum is his other is his other Pokemon. No, Gyarados. I guess Dr Driftblum must be Platinum then. Oh, this thing is scary. Come on, come on, Alakid. Shockwave it into oblivion. Oh! Ace Trainer Dennis just cost himself big time there. I win! As what Kefla would say. Yes! I'm so glad I got through that with little to no little to no issues. He is normally he is normally pretty tough. He's normally pretty tough. Yeah, what I did there, just always do that. Just battle her and Dennis one at a time. They're normally not that they're normally not that hard. Alright, so we made it to Veilstone City, guys, and that is gonna wrap up today's video.
I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond.